and yes, this is what's ruining it. it. <laughs> totally, what's ruining it. Um, welcome to a very special episode of Books in One Forty Seconds, the Giller Edition. Today, we're talking about Light Lifting by Alexander McLeod. Ooh, it's a short story collection by Alistair McLeod's son, but let's ignore that fact. And the stories are unrelated. Um, he talks about a group of runners, and he talks about a person delivering medication on his bicycle but at the end of the day his voice is very distinct and coherent throughout the book and that is what makes this book shine I think what do you think Jen I I really did enjoy the collection and what I thought was quite masterful for someone who's it's whose debut collection it is is his ability to really alter his prose to suit the story so you look at the first story which is what probably my favorite story about the runners and then you have this long lean striding prose which is incredibly beautiful and then you go to the next story which is all about parental anxiety and head lice and you have these short clip sentences of someone who is really just trying to keep their head above water and he you know he writes from the perspective of men and women um kids and people in adulthood so really it, he shows a lot of range yeah it's he's an ab mcleod is absolutely a master of the written word he's very playful but it's also really raw gritty and angry Angry, but you can tell he's having a lot of fun adapting what he's saying to the scenes he's setting and I just appreciated that as a co collection whole I mean it was consistent you can tell that he wrote every single story and they belong together but some highlights for me with Miracle Mile the very first story mm -hmm. so that was a bit of a letdown because I was like oh this is amazing then it sort of peters off and I really didn't get the parenting story but it picks back up towards again and as a whole it's a solid stunning short story collection that I think every Canadian should read what bothered me is the tendency to rely on these big bang out of nowhere endings, which happened yes. probably about three times, and I thought was kind of almost a cheap device, I hate to say it, but you have this wonderful story about runners, and that kind of sudden graphic twist of an ending wasn't necessary. No, it really, and, and that happens several times. It you know, does. The swimmers, and like... I got the impression he just doesn't know how to end them, so he pulls an ending out of nowhere in order to just have it to be over, which yeah. is frustrating, but, I mean, it's his first collection, so we'll see where he goes from there. And Gillardod, first, first time out of the gate. Good stuff. Not bad at all. Well, this is a pretty impressive move. I thought Baines did a good job, but see how he's backing Baines up just with the back down? Gives you an example of...